What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. Last time, we continued to develop our bonds and confidants just a little bit, and we managed to max out our first confidant. Unfortunately, such a victory was short-lived as Majed is kind of bragging that since we haven't said anything in a couple days that they're saying, Oh, we're the just ones! And they're just sprouting out a lot of crap. On a more sinister note, we have been contacted by an anonymous hacker called Alibaba, who is willing to help us but will not reveal who they are. And their demand is to have a change of heart to someone. So, yeah, very mysterious, not really trustworthy to be honest, but very troublesome to say the very least. In this episode, we don't really have much of a choice except to wait on Alibaba to contact us again, since we can't contact Alibaba. It's a one-way communication. So we just gotta wait for him to... contact us, I guess. That's all we really can do. Unfortunately, support of us is starting to wane. Ryuji. Come on. <sighs> that idiot. Man. The dude can be really impatient sometimes. Shit. What do you want? Oh, he got it. He already knows who I am. Yeah, I am. So that was Alibaba. It makes sense. If he knows who we are, it's likely he's figured out that I'm a student. He 
supposed to know how to change of heart works. Hey, hey. I need a name. I can't steal someone's heart if I don't know who they are. It is. Taba Sakura? Is this Futaba Sakura? Shit. Cancel it. For real? Looks like that. Right after school. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Mm. Wasn't Sakura? It's boss's last name! Does he have any family? Does he? I don't recall him mentioning anything. For reals? How laid back are you? He doesn't tell me about his personal life. Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. His store, not his house. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. At least then we'd know if it's actually connected to Boss. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Agreed. Hmm? What's up? Uh, boss? I have a question I want to ask you. Do you know someone named Futaba Sakura? Why do you know about that? Hmm. Uh... Did I say something off? 
It's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks like it's a hit. Yeah, no kidding. if I tried to press it any further. I think this would be something he would bring up. Considering Boss's reaction, there's no way that he would talk to us about it of his own accord. That means we're just gonna have to do something by ourselves. Well, damn it. About this. At the very least, with Futaba Sakura, we have a name. And if she's connected to Boss somehow, there's a tangible lead to something. Where exactly that goes to, hell if I know. Good idea. Uh, you've got a point. Still, it's worth testing at least.
fun until after this medjet bit of business is taken care of. a lead worth pursuing at any rate. So remember that random information gathering that you had to do in Persona 4? Guess what? <laughs> Yes, now we have to go all around Yongen Jaya in order to just talk to random NPCs and tell us information on something. So yay! At the very least, these are seemingly new NPCs, so we've got that that we can, you know, use to our advantage. Okay, except it's not just random crap that you already know, instead it's just random crap, period. Right, 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 right. Futaba, Futaba, Futaba. Good info to have for later, but not important right this very second. Keep asking around. Yikes, no one? I don't even think that boss even has, like, a kid or even a, a maybe a relative to boss? Okay, well that's actually some somewhat helpful information. It's not super helpful, mind you, but it's something. Boss is buying food for a lot of people. No one seems to recognize the name. He would know something. Is our only lead so far. The place to buy food would be the supermarket then. Hey! Maybe if they came in discreetly, we could find something.
damn it. That doesn't look like it'll work. Yeah, but that's a horrible idea. Then again, it's the only idea. Oh, this is not gonna end well. You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. Abuse? You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. I yield. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. What's with that look? You got something to say? What the hell did I just walk in on? This doesn't involve you. About yesterday, is Futaba your daughter? Uh, that's enough! Just behave yourself. Keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Mm. The existence of this Futaba is for certain. She may be in some kind of bad situation, though. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Right. Oh. And didn't they mention cognitive something? Yeah, cognitive science. I wonder what the chief's hiding. You don't think it has something to do with palaces, do you? We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. just gets weirder and weirder. At the very least, we've sort of confirmed that Futaba is connected to Boss. But everything that woman mentioned... Hmm... Custody, though, that would imply that he has parental ownership over Futaba. Something with cognitive science? What the hell is going on here? Hmm. Well, we should let everyone know as soon as we can. It's information. Whether or not we can actually use it is another question entirely.
a woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? According to that woman... I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? I mean... I've known Boss for a few months. He hasn't done anything like that to me, but... Hell if I know. It's difficult to say. Sometimes the person on the outside is much different from the one within. Oh! Is it Alibaba? Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, we'll need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. We can see whether or not this person knows about palaces. Does this Futaba have a palace? don't know. They really don't know. What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Let's meet somewhere. Second. Hold on, we're not done here. Damn it. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Mejed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep, and now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. 
Oh yeah, remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown. We got 150,000 yen out of it. That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money. Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. Mm, where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? I, I mean... Yeah, sushi's fine, but... Then it's decided. Hold on a sec! All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Uh... Are we seriously just going to drop this? Something's not right. Why would they go through all of those theatrics just for a prank? It's weird that Magid hasn't actually done anything, but everything concerning Alibaba just doesn't make sense. Why would he be so insistent and then just call off everything? Even say that he's not going to report us. And there's everything with Boss and... What the hell is going on? Well, then. <sighs> well I'm with Yusuke 100% though. There's nothing more that we can do, so may as well just cautiously enjoy the sushi, I guess. Quite busy, Sai san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd, but don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? 
The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves, without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. going and we would have unlocked it as a hangout spot if we didn't already have it but we do so time for sushi man the flounder is out of this world mm. that texture uh, I don't see any prices listed here it's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. So good. <laughs> hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Hold your horses and don't talk. By the way. Yeah? Is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? again I can't get it off my mind especially if it means he could be taken to court what kind of person is he do you truly believe he'd do such a thing I mean I can't say for sure but he's strict but not to the point of abuse I don't I think he'd be that kind of person. Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nap. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait! You think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? Huh? He must have cheated on her and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Yeah, I think you're off base. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. It <laughs> Crap. Uh, um, the fan. Fantastic! This 
sushi is delicious. Y yeah, the fish is so fresh. Hm. Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. <sighs> that would have been bad. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. You need to seriously watch your freaking mouth. My apologies for bringing up Boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Akechi-kun. Akechi? -kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Ah, English again! Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. A total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation, but I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? If I was a Phantom Thief? Well... I wouldn't take it sitting down. I'd probably retaliate against them. Hmm. So you share the majority's opinion. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> Seems you're not perturbed in the slightest. Why would I be? You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms. But don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I can't deny that. I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what? The hell are you saying? I'm curious to hear what you have to say. You seem to be a wealth of information. In return, I'll teach you how to make deductions. I believe that is a fair trade-off for you. We already have an arrangement.
Yes, we did. Also, we don't actually get any sort of benefit. Weird that he says, I'll teach you how to make deductions, and then not actually teach us anything. All right. But whatever. At least it raises up the, uh, the power we give to justice personas. So there's that. Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? No, but we definitely gave him a reason to suspect us. Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but... Maybe best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. And you were able to figure it out, too. True, but it's not as though we had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Medjet. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. What? We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are Unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Um, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Medjet will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me Alibaba may, in fact, be Futaba herself. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? Yeah, it's just down the block. 
I know exactly where his house is. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Sounds good. Right on in. <sighs> hey, we have an alibi at least. is open and I can hear the TV hope he didn't pass out or something I mean boss is kind of old ain't he not that old I'm a bit worried should we go in and check on him please excuse us
You? What are you doing in my house? Uh, you are... Oh, uh, good... Good evening, sir. We... We didn't mean to intrude. I swear this is not what it looks like. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? Huh? We're just friends. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? I swear I can explain. But that's not it. This, um, uh, things happened and... You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we ring the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried you might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. Uh, I do that sometimes. Guess I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Huh? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Yeah. My daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um... Is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that had changed after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. Well, what about her father? What happened to him? There wasn't a father. Oh. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left. Leaving Futaba behind. Left? Wait. Do you mean that she died? Yes. She committed suicide. Suicide? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. 
Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out. Utaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part, she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared, even when nothing was happening. She'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to. But she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is... well... A unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. Hey, I understand. You were only trying to look after her. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. What does Futaba want? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? Sure. I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. She wants the pain to go away. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. It's possible. If she truly is Alibaba, then that would be our way to deal with Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. Alright. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that going to be enough? Candidate found. What the? It's a hit. She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? Where's... I haven't seen him for some time. I mean, he was with us when he, we went into Boss's house. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? 
Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat, after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning, after all. Oh, crap, I forgot about that. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. Sounds like a plan. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the...? She's got one! So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. gonna go well regardless we certainly learned quite a lot we learned just who exactly this Futaba Sakura is and the situation that she's in as well still she does indeed have a palace so we can conduct the change of heart as long as we know the other keywords, a location, and distortion. If we can get those pieces of information, then we can actually change her heart. And if she is indeed Alibaba herself, then she would be able to help us take down Medjed. And Medjed has sent a declaration of war and will act in a little less than a month. So, if everything goes how we've been led to believe thus far, you have until then to steal Futaba's heart. And then, if she's willing to uphold her end of the bargain, we have until then to be able to stop Nejed. Still, with everything that's gone on, I think now's about as good a time as any to call it a day. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 5. Tomorrow we have the school assembly. Yay. But after that, we're going to see what we can do about trying to enter Futaba's palace. We've confirmed that she has one. But, with a little bit more information, maybe we could be able to, de to deduce what exactly the, her other keywords are steal her heart, maybe we can do something about Medjed. Until next time, everyone, take care.